this we'll do this one real quick. All right. Because this one takes half as much work as all the other ones. Since both of these are in standard form, by the way, I'm going to choose to use elimination. So, if I choose to eliminate the x's, I can see right away that if I multiply that top equation by 2, I'll have the same coefficient that is the opposite. So I'm going to do that. Multiply this by 2. That's a bad 2. Oh, man. All right, so that gives me a new equation, negative 8x plus 6y equals 60. And the bottom equation stays the same. Since those coefficients are opposites but the same, or just the opposites, really, when I start adding them, these eliminate. Inadvertently, though, we eliminated the y's as well. So we have 0 equals, if I add the zero. totals, 0. 0 equals 0 always. Yeah, since that's true, this one has infinite solutions. What was the instruction? 2. 0 equals, let's say, 6. It's the... Well, yeah, that's solution. correct. Yeah. Um, is infinite zero equals zero? Is it the same thing? Yes. Right infinite? Okay. Yeah. What this means is that the two equations are the same. They've just been scaled. Uh, if you graph these, you'd have graphed the same line twice.